Hey, welcome to another video guide focused on one of the most important systems in Lost Ark, engraving system, which is extremely poorly explained in the game. So, what is engraving system and how does it work? Engraving to put simply is a customizable passives with its own levels or ranks that further defines the build. Most of the builds in Lost Ark are centered around them and further define the playstyle. There are two different kinds of engravings, a class one and a regular one. Class one usually alternates the way that uh, certain skills or ultimate abilities behave, while most of the general ones are some kind of a boost to damage, speed, cooldown, etc. One of the reasons why this system seems so confusing at first is the fact that you unlock it at the same time as pretty much every other endgame system, so along with the poor explanation it feels very uh, overwhelming to the player. But the concept of it is rather simple. If you go over to your engraving tab, chances are you got some of the points here if you are wearing starter endgame accessories and ability stone. So each engraving has 15 of these diamonds or let's just uh, call them points. Each 5 of those points level up that specific engraving. So in order to activate them you need to have at least 5 points. In order to max out engraving you will need 15 of those points which makes uh, engraving max at level 3 and any further points into it will be a waste. So how do you level up engravings? There is three ways to do this. First one is gonna be through your skill book system. So if you look on the left side below your weapon there is two slots. This plus signs. If you click one of them engraving effect book will show up. In here you will find all the engraving recipes you learned so far. I will talk uh, about how to obtain them a bit later, but for now let's get back to the actual engraving page. So, recipes once learned are unlocked on your entire account, which means you only need to obtain them once to be able to use them on every character that you play. Just like here there is a different uh, rarity of recipes and you will need to find 20 of each engraving effect book. You start with green, then you move on to blue, then to purple and at the end the orange books. And you need to unlock each one in that order to learn the higher tiered books. Each time you level up a book, you add 3 points to that engraving once mastered, which means at max level you will be able to get 12 points on your engraving of your choosing, which will help with that RNG that comes from obtaining accessories with a specific engravings on them. Keep in mind you can use 2 of the same engravings this way, if you choose so. As you can see here I only have 3 notches in Blessed Aura, so if I remove this one, uh, you can see here that I only have uh, 3 notches or like 3 points in Blessed Aura, which is the, is not enabled, but if you go back and I add the gray engraving recipes of uh, the actual Blessed Aura, which each one is giving me 9 points. Essentially this is an overkill now since I have more points than I need, so to be exact I have plus 6 more points but since my gear is not uh, fully optimized this is what I'm running with at the moment. Now for the way to obtain the books, it's pretty much just playing the game or searching the market. The drops are pretty much everywhere from chaos dungeons, guardian raids, abyssals, cube, towers, world bosses, quests and the welcoming challenge itself as well. So once you obtain them, make sure to focus on the ones that are important for your class or classes if you are playing the multiple ones. Alright, now on to the second way of leveling engravings through gear. Starting from endgame gear, from 3 or 2 item level, any accessory on right side of your character, so we are talking about uh, necklace, earrings, rings and ability stone, it will have up to 3 random engravings with a random number attached to them. So in order to level up specific engraving you will need to mix and match the same ones across the gear in order to fully define your build. Take note that this engraving comes from gear uh, does have the third random effect in red which is a negative one and generally speaking you want to minimize the levels on these as they are detrimental stats but they are not really big deal unless you manage to level them past uh, rank 1. Third and final way to obtain engravings is through fastening your ability stone. This one is probably the easiest to focus on after books for your uh, non-class engraving but at the same time one of the most RNG dependent to level. I will have a separate video on how fasting works in the future. So to conclude the video, engravings are passives that further enhance and define the build. Every 5 points levels engraving by 1 rank with rank 3 or 15 points being the max. 3 ways to obtain them, engraving recipe books, accessories, 
and ability stone. You should uh, prioritize your main non-class skill on your ability stone and class engraving with books for your class. And uh, pray to Iron Jesus because uh, you will need it. Hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe and like the video for more Lost Ark content. If you got any questions you can leave them in the comments down below or join me daily on my Twitch channel which link will be in the description down below. For now, Crow Templar out. Salute. Bye.